Hi, this is Fatima. Here, let us discuss about Kestrel Web Server in ASP.NET Core application in detail. Before proceeding to this video, watch my previous video where we discussed about ASP.NET Core hosting model in detail. As we already discussed, with out of process hosting model, there are two web servers. One is internal web server and next is external web server. That internal web server is called as Kestrel and it is cross platform for ASP.NET Core application. That means the server supports all the platform and versions that the ASP.NET Core supports. And also it's an edge server, nothing but internet facing web server process the incoming HTTP request from the client directly. When we run an ASP.NET Core application using .NET Core CLI, then the .NET Core runtime uses Kestrel as a web server. And the process used to host and run our web application is .NET.exe for Kestrel web server. If you are using out of process hosting model for your ASP.NET Core application, then the Kestrel web server can be used in one of these two ways. The first is we can use the Kestrel web server as a internet facing web server, which will directly process the incoming HTTP request. In this scenario, only Kestrel web server is used and the other one external web server is not used. So when we run the application using .NET Core CLI then the Kestrel web server is the only web server we are going to be used to handle and process the incoming HTTP request. To confirm this let us create an ASP.NET Core application which displays the worker process and run via .NET Core CLI. To create a ASP.NET Core project, open Visual Studio 2017, select File, New, Project. In the New Project window, from the left pane, expand the Installed Template section and Visual C Sharp section as we are going to use C Sharp as our programming language. Then select .NET Core and from among the different kinds of project, choose ASP.NET Core web application from the middle pane and provide your project name as your wish. and select the location where you want to create the project. Finally, click on OK. Once you click on the OK button, it will open this Select Template section where you need to select the ASP.NET Core version, SDK version and template types. So I am choosing stable version ASP.NET Core 2.2. And choose any template and also if you want to configure for HTTPS a secure communication over computer networks check this so that any information going to and from your server is auto encrypted prevents hacker from sniffing out your visitor sensitive information as it passes through the internet as of now I no need to configure so I uncheck this and click OK This code of the Startup Plus displays that worker process name. Open. In command prompt. Run the application by using .NET run command.
Open the browser window and navigate to this URL. You will see the worker process name as .NET. So in this case, Kestrel is the only server which will handle and process the incoming HTTP request. The second way is that the Kestrel can be used with a combination of reverse proxy servers such as IAS, Apache and Nginx which provides an additional layer of configuration and security which is not available in this Kestrel server. It also maintains load balancing. So it is a good choice to use the Kestrel along with the reverse proxy server. So when we use Kestrel server along with the reverse proxy server then the reverse proxy server will receive the incoming HTTP request from the client and then forwards a request to the Kestrel server for processing. Once the Kestrel server processes that request and sends the response back to the reverse proxy server which then sends the response to the requested client over the internet. Let us confirm this. When we run our ASP.NET Core application directly from Visual Studio, then by default the Visual Studio uses IAS Express. Now change the ASP.NET Core hosting model to the value of process. Now we have configured out of process hosting model. Now the IAS Express acts as a reverse proxy server and Kestrel acts as an internal web server. Now the IAS Express receives the incoming HTTP request and then forwards it to the Kestrel web server for processing. The Kestrel web server processing the request and sends a response back to the IAS Express which in turn sends a response back to the client. Now run the application. You will see the worker process as .NET. So when you are using out of process hosting model then the Kestrel web server is going to host the application and process the request irrespective of whether you are using reverse proxy server or not. Can we run ASP.NET Core application without this built in Kestrel server? Yes. When we use the in process hosting model then the application is hosted inside the IAS worker process w3wp.exe in case of IAS and IAS express.exe in case of IAS express. So with in process hosting model Kestrel web server is not used. Hope you enjoyed this video. Our next video is about JSON file in ASP.NET Code application. Thank you.